Hey everybody, welcome back. Today in the hot seat, the all new Klein MM320, the successor to the MM300. Wow, this should be a good one. meters are oh so popular on the channel just people love Klein they love Klein and you know what I don't blame them Klein's been around for a long long time one of those strong American names that just brings back confidence uh, to a genre in this case it is electronics testing and boy I'm happy I have the MM320 here for you here guys we are side by side the MM600 the MM320 and the MM300 wow check it out so size wise yeah the 600 definitely the biggest of the three in the middle we have the 320 and of course 300 the smallest uh, although really not that small in comparison to the 320 but it is definitely a little bit smaller as well too we look at that font um interesting is it not yes chunky funky for both the 600 and the 300 but we have a much different style font on that uh, lcd display for the 320 what do you prefer personally i do like the style of the 320 clarity wise though i've got to tell you that chunky funky uh font on the 600 and 300 are definitely brighter and bolder than the 320 uh, go figure so a bigger font but just not as bright not as contrasty as the other two weird weird the selector switch as well 40 millimeters 40.2 millimeter to be exact for the 320 42 millimeter for the 600 and and a much smaller 35 millimeter for the 300 so uh Pretty well the same style or same size rotary selector uh, for these two units, definitely smaller. So if you've got big hands, you're gonna find that these are definitely easier to work with. Oddly enough, the test leads on the 320 are actually slightly smaller than the 300, go figure, by uh, just a, a couple of centimeters, but nonetheless, they are smaller. Um, also, what is lacking is that uh, nice ETL rating, safety rating that you get with those uh, 300 test leads uh noticeably absent from the 320 so uh yeah bizarre on the chassis of the multimeter though completely different story we have that etl intertech third party certification oh that is a good thing Okay, so we've established some differences with these multimeters. Uh, once again, slightly larger style font, larger multimeter per se, and larger selector switch all on the 320. On the back of the unit though, things are fairly the same. Once again, tiny bit bigger. The say, uh, tilt stand on the 320 is compared to the 300, but really nothing significant. They both have a really nice wide berth. So you have a lot of stability here. And yeah, basically, I would say almost identical. Also, you can see ever so slightly a tiny bit difference in terms of the height of the 320. Again, just a tad bigger than the 300. That MM320 selector switch. Oh yeah. Beauty, beauty, clickly, click, clackly, clack. This is a joy to work with. And it's big enough we can really dig your fingers in there. Even if you have gloves on, it's not going to be a problem. Oh, love it. One of the really nice things about Klein is that body, that shell. Uh, gorgeous. It's the only way I can describe it. Um, a beautiful feel to that holster. Uh, very tactile. Um, it's not that plasticky, cold, you know, cheesy, cheap feeling. No, it has a really nice style rubber boot. And uh, this is pretty well par for the course with any of the clients. Now, the boot, once again, on this model does not come off. It is permanently attached, part of the molding of the multimeter itself, same as the 300 series. But that being said, really, really nice attention to detail, and it really works well. DC precision voltage time sitting at 10.06 volts. Should be looking at 10.00. Hey, not too shabby. Let's move it down a notch, shall we? And going down 5 volts is what we want. And coming up as 5.03. Finally, we want to see 2.5 volts. And coming up as 2.51. Hey, not bad, not bad at all. Take a closer look at the selector switch starting at the midnight or off position. 
volts DC, up to 600 volts. Diode. Continuity mode. Resistance, up to 2 mega ohm. Amps DC, from 200 microamps to 10 amps. 1.5 and 9 volt battery test. Volts DC, up to 600 volts. A single one touch hold. At the bottom of the meter, we have our single high current 10 amp input. In the middle, we have our common or ground. And on the far right, we have our voltage, resistance, diode, continuity, microamp, and milliamp. Already, we have a DC voltage showdown here. Of course, we've got that ever so accurate MM600. In the middle, we have the 320, of course, the 300 on the far right. Now, 2000 count display for both of the 320 and the 300, not as good as that 600. And as well, a non auto ranging. Don't forget those Klein tools, MM320 and 300 are non-auto ranging, unlike the MM600. Okay, sitting at 1.00 volts, here we go, 1.00 for the 600, 1.01 and 1.00 for the 300. Up, up, sitting at 5.01 volts right now, 5.01 for the 600, 5.04 for the 320, and 5.01 again for the 300. Let's take it up, up. We're gonna hit 15 volts even Steven. 15.01, 15.02 coming up for the 615.1 for the 320 and 15.04 for the three. Finally sitting at the max, 32.01 volts, 32.01, it's fluttering, 0102 for the 600, 32.1 for the 320 and 31.9 for the 300. Wow, that was pretty darn close, I gotta say. But as always, Klein MM600 comes in first. In second, I'm gonna give it to the 300. And in last place, unfortunately, the brand new Klein 320. Whew, that was fun. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Multimeter. Mint of the Week. Yes, this is where I bring you the craziest things in the world of Multimeters. This week's vent. Oh, I know you're gonna agree. Cheap old multimeters, that ain't cheap. Oh. Yeah, really? 60 bucks for this sucker. 60 bucks? Are you nuts? Hey, this is a classic, but is it worth 55 bucks? I don't think so. They say it looks like a fluke, but is it worth 55 bucks? No. And the piece of resist off, almost 100 bucks. Oh my god. Yeah, in the cheapo multimeter realm, we expect cheap. That doesn't mean multi-million dollar meters. No, we're expecting the lowest of the low. You get it? Yeah, we already know that cheap doesn't mean it's crap. No, far from it. It can be really good. But if it's a cheapo, hey, keep the price low. <laughs> Unlike the 300 series, the 320 actually has a separate dial mode, so it's not being shared with the continuity. I like it. I like it. Okay, here we are. Dial mode. Starting off with a standard diode. Forward voltage drop looking good over to the red led oh wow barely lit but it is lit over to the yellow same thing barely lit you can't even see it i know but it is lit oh my god over to the green nope not a not a pinata over to the blue no can do and the white oh so two out of five for illumination and forward voltage drop ah oh, that's a fail it's a fail Measly 2.2 volts, the output voltage in diode mode. Oh yeah, baby, continuity is in the house. Stock default test probes. Hmm, three, two, one, here we go. Loud, latched. Ah, it's about a, about a three out of five. It seems to miss every other one. It is loud though. Hmm, let's pull out the Pro Masters. Pro Masters. Oh my God, beautiful, beautiful. Latched, loud, it doesn't miss a beat. Oh my God, what a difference good set of probes makes. Oh yeah. <phone rings> 72.9 decibels, maximum output volume in continuity. Not bad, not bad at all. Now, unfortunately, in terms of uh, just pure threshold for resistance, uh, pretty measly two mega ohm. That's it. That's all the maximum. Ah, too bad. We don't be better than that in 2022. Uh, anyway, suffice to say, let's see at least how fast it is to range. Sitting at two mega ohm right now. Bring it down to one mega ohm. Yeah, that's not too shabby. Let's try 1.9 mega ohm. 1.99 mega ohm. 1.999. 
Okay, so in terms of scaling speed, it's not too bad. One mega ohm back up to two. Yeah, so faster range, but just not a lot of range to work with. And in terms of resistance accuracy, once again, we don't have a lot of range to work with, but coming up as 0.100 of a kilo ohm, uh, looking good. No capacitance on the multimeter, sadly lacking once again. Um, yes, let's face it, feature-wise, this is pretty bare bones. Um, one touch hold again, nothing fancy. Find your range, hit hold, and it holds that value. Um, nothing special. Basically, every multimeter has one. Okay, let's take a look on the inside and see how it's built. A definite step up from the 300 in terms of fuse access. Look at that. Wow, now that I like to see. So unlike the 300 where you gotta basically take the whole darn thing apart to change that fuse, no worries here. Easy access to both the milliamp and the high current 10 amp fuse. Good stuff. Once again, they both have that nice threaded insert and they're both by powered by those AAA batteries. Wow, check it out, check it out. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous input protection on the 300. I gotta say, it is vastly improved. Count them, one, two PTCs, three mobs, and they are nice and big and chunky. Both of the fuses are 600 volt as well. Uh, nice to see Klein stepping up in terms of that voltage rating. Big, thick, chunky inputs. And once again, I mean, these are pretty good on the 300, but once again, that 320 takes it up a notch. Look at that, uh, screwed in and a beautifully soldered, just all in all, really, really nicely done. Another diode clamp over here as well, um, beautiful. No residue anywhere on this motherboard. Wow, this sucker is clean. Usually you're gonna see some flux somewhere, but I'm telling you, Klein did a top-notch job. Absolutely stellar. And a big, huge kudos to Klein. If you've noticed, they have done away with that absolutely, oh, I wanna make you cringe battery connection method uh, that they used on the 300. The 320 now makes a lot more sense, much more cleaner if they have those two nice pads that make contact with that battery housing. Unlike the older 300 series where, look, look what they did. They had these ah! ugly cutouts for the spring terminals to make contact with the, it's like, it was just nuts, absolutely nuts. So huge improvement. Um, good job, Klein, thanks for listening. Finally, if we look at the fab date here, 2020, August 10th, you know this is a new multimeter. Loving it, loving it. Okay, gonna put things back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Hey, let's face it, the Klein Tools MM320, it's not the most advanced multimeter out there, not even close, but I think it's a huge upgrade over the 300, especially in terms of build quality. Ah, uh, it is definitely worth it. Things like just basic diode testing, it kind of sucked. Oh, it's such a disappointment. But man, oh man, they sure did a good job in the internals. This thing has some great input protection, built like a tank. And I'm telling you, that improvement to the battery connecting assembly, oh, that alone is worth the upgrade over the 300. I think the display is better, it's bigger, it's overall nicer looking. But man, a backlight would have been a huge improvement. Klein, are you listening? We need a backlight. For some funny reasons, just not as accurate as the 300. Oh well, what can we say? But it's still well within spec. Hey, I think it's worth the money. The Klein Tools MM320 gets a solid 3.5 out of five stars. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.